hey guys i'm back with another video this is a quick 10 minute ab burning workout so uh for this first one this is just like alternating bicycle um so the way that i do these are they're like kind of staggered i guess if you'd say it that way um i start off doing 50 so i mean like every every touch is it counts as one so it's like one two three four five six and so on so i do 50 um and then after i get to 50 i'll stop and rest like right now um and i rest for like half of the amount of you know touches that i did so for instance right now i would rest for 25 seconds um after i rest for 25 seconds then i'll start back up this time i'll do 40 and same things like one, two, three, four, five, six, so on. It's just consistent counting. Um, and then I'll break in between there and I'll rest for 20 seconds. So um, I do 30 and then I do 20. And um, after I actually do 20, um, I don't lay all the way down to rest. I just kind of keep my abs really engaged at like a little pause there um for 10 seconds and then i go ahead and do my last 10. so the entire set looks like 50 40 30 20 10. and then um i'll take that time to kind of like rest in between sets because i actually do two sets of this and i find that this helps build my core like a lot um, my core used to be pretty strong when i was really heavy into yoga but um I kind of got away from doing yoga as much as I would like to, um, but I found that this has really, really helped me like gain that core um, ab strength back. Um, and it doesn't like make my sides bulky. I know sometimes like ab workouts, you kind of steer clear of certain ones because you don't want your ab, your sides to be like kind of bulky. Um, I haven't found that the sides of my um, stomach or anything like that are like bulky. Um, you know, from doing these workouts. So here is where I do the 20 touches. And I told you that I don't lay all the way down to like rest on this one. I keep my abs engaged right here for 10 seconds. It's really important that you don't pull on your neck. You keep your shoulders up off the floor. Um, making sure you breathe and then of course I'll do my last 10 touches here and then that finishes that up and don't get me wrong I'm still like exhausted doing this and I've been doing it for months like it's it's tough so this next one starting off in a high plank um, really works on the obliques um, works on your arms too like I literally feel the burn in my arms and uh, my abs also for sure doing this one um, but starting off in a high plank bringing the knee up to each elbow and then lowering down almost to like a push-up stance bringing the knees up to each elbow also um, and I do 20 of those so it's just counting one two three four five six like that um, just a quick disclaimer I'm not saying that this is perfect form for a plank or anything like that this is just simply what I do and I've gotten the results that I have now from doing this consistently for months. So this is just me sharing what I do. I'm not saying this is perfect form or this is the correct way to do it or anything like that, but this is just a really, really good ab workout um, that I've seen results from. But um, in between this um, or each of these, I'll like take usually about 30 second rests, sometimes a little bit longer. Um, you don't want to rest too, too long to have your abs like not engaged, but you definitely want to make sure you're engaging your abs while you're doing these workouts. Um, and I did four sets, I believe of 20 for these. So...
So I don't think I stressed it quite enough, but you definitely wanna make sure you're breathing in and out deep breaths, in and out, also taking deep breaths in while you're doing the workouts also. It's a really good idea to stretch um, a little bit in between sets, nothing extreme, just a, a short, quick little stretch. Um, it feels good, of course, but it also helps when you're getting ready to do that next set. Um, I'm usually in my own little world, as you can see, um, in between sets, I will stretch, wave my arms around, daydream about food, whatever, 50 billion things going on in my head, but yeah. Definitely by the time you get to the fourth set, um, for sure, you're going to feel very tired. Um, Cause trust me, here is like definitely a struggle mode for me. Um, it's tough, but it really works. Um, you really do get results from doing it if you're consistent. Um, definitely like one of my top five favorites for sure. Um, but I mean, go at your own pace. You don't have to do all the sets that I do in this video either. Just work your way up. Um, you know, take your time, do it the right way. Okay, so this last one, I don't know the name of what it's called, but I lie flat and like, you know, raise my legs up into the air and your shoulders are up off of the floor and you're just like making touches to your feet. Um, I mean, I bend my knees from time to time. I try and keep them straight, you know. It's, that's really not the focus. The focus is definitely still on your abs. You're making sure your abs are engaged. Um, as you see, like, I don't really, like, lay down necessarily to rest. Um, the break in between is pretty short. Um, but I do, like, 20 touches. Um, and, again, you're, like, engaging the abs. So you're really, like lifting up using your core um you know for the touches and just kind of keeping your abs engaged this one is definitely a tough one um so at any point that you kind of feel like oh my gosh like i really need to rest absolutely like take that rest um i usually like push a little bit further um just because i like to just push myself um a little bit past my limits from time to time um but this one is a really, really good one. You're definitely going to feel your abs burning with this for sure. Um, I usually do um, four sets of 20. Um, this is just me just messing around with my legs, honestly, just kind of whatever. I'm in my own zone, my own world when I'm working out, really just there. But it's just really important to keep your abs engaged as you're doing these touches again i'm not really concerned with whether or not i'm supposed to be bending my legs or keeping them straight i'm just really focused on my abs just as long as i keep them engaged and they're like working like during the workout that's what's important to me so definitely by the time you get to the fourth set, if you make it that far, it definitely hurts. So you're gonna be tired, but just making sure you focus on engaging the abs. Um, and this kind of wraps up my 10 minute ab workout video. I hope that you all are able to implement some of this stuff, um, if not all of it, and get some results from it. You know, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, you know, leave me comments about videos you'd like to see in the future. And thank you for watching. Peace.